know, I'm stunned. You know, I'm like, there's no way. I didn't, I didn't do this. I, I could never commit any crimes like this. He goes, well, he goes, if you want to, he goes, just between me and you, if you want to tell me what happened that night, you know, come clean with me. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, try to get this, you know, to go a lot, a lot easier on you. He goes, Mr. Lowry, I know you did this. You know, all you got to do is come clean. When I tried to explain my story, it wasn't like, Mr. Lowry, I know you did this. I mean, he was, he was angry. He, he goes, Mr. Lowry, I got uh, 10 more years on the police force. If it takes me those 10 years, I will prove that you did this. They got me to the point where I was, I was crying, you know. Uh, they, they stood over me, and I was laying just like, the, I was like this. And the thought came to my head, you know, I'll just tell them what they want to hear. And then I'll be, I can get me a lawyer and I'll prove my innocence because there's no evidence. There's going to be nothing to prove that I committed this crime. And then finally I just said, okay, okay, okay. What do you want to know? I'll tell you. What do you want to know? They said, okay, how did you get in the house? I said, I walked up to the front door and I busted it open with my foot. The real perpetrator went around the back door, sliced open the screen, and popped it open. I told him I busted down the front door. So in, in, in court, you know, they're telling them that I told them that I went around back. They're changing the story that I told them that to match to what really happened. Because what'd you do next? I, I didn't know what to say because I, I didn't know how the, you know, the crime happened. And he goes, did you, he goes, did you pick up a knife, Mr. Lowry? I said, yeah, I picked up a knife. He goes, what'd you do? I said, I, I raped her. And he goes, what, what'd you do before that? And I didn't know what to say. And I said, I just said, I I ran, I went upstairs and this place had no upstairs. They said, well, didn't you go to, didn't you hear something down the hallway? I said, yeah. I go, yeah, I heard something down the hallway. And he goes, then what'd you do? I said, I raped her. He goes, no, no, before that, what did you do? You're, you went down the hallway, you're standing in the doorway, what did you do? Well, didn't you go over, didn't you jump on her? Didn't you throw the covers over her head and hit her in the head with the, with the butt of the, the knife? I said, yeah, yeah, I, I jumped on her, I hit her in the head with the butt of the knife. And he goes, what'd you do next? I said, I ran. He goes, well, didn't you, before you ran, what'd you do? I didn't know what to say, you know, I said, I sat there, he goes, didn't you throw the knife down? Didn't you run after you threw that knife down? I said, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's what I did. So after I'd sat there and, and I, I said all that, they said, well, he goes, do you want to repeat this back into a tape recorder? I'm like, no, I don't want to repeat this back into a tape recorder. That jury trial ended up, um, that one ended up convicting me. Um, my lawyer asked him later, you know, what was the overwhelming evidence that convicted him? And they just said, well, we just can't believe somebody would confess to a crime like that if they didn't do it.